now that we have our React app up and running, we're now gonna be personalizing this with styled components. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is actually start to remove some of this boilerplate code that's in this project. So the first thing we can do is let's just say we remove this logo here. We save that and you could see that we are now removing that logo. So let's just take that a step further and remove all of this code here. And we're just gonna add in a single div just to have some content. All right, so now you can see that we're, we're pretty bare bones at this point. Now we're gonna be removing all of the CSS in here. We don't really need any of this anymore. And then we're going to remove some of this CSS as well. Now, okay, so now we're really bare bones. We need, we're gonna be adding in all of our styles from scratch. Now you shouldn't delete these files because they're required and we're gonna be adding in some CSS, but for the most part, we're gonna be styling our app with styled components. So let's get started with that. So from our terminal, we're gonna add styled components. So to run that, I use yarn add styled components. Okay, and you can see that's now done. So now that we have that installed, we can add styled components by first importing it. So we're gonna say import styled from styled components. Now that's currently unused. So logo is actually unused as well too. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that line. Now that we have styled from styled components, we could start creating styled components. So instead of our div, we're gonna replace that with our own custom div that we created through styled components. So to do that, we just say const custom element equals styled.div and then a template literal after that. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna say, allow us to add CSS within this template. So we can, for example, say color green. And then now we can add this custom element in place of our div. So let's save that. And you can see now that we have a green div, we are now officially using styled components. So this is a, this can be a replacement for CSS and that's what we're gonna be using for our app. I find this to be a lot easier than CSS. You can do things like extend. So you can say const blue element equals custom element dot extend. And then you can add in your new styles for that component. And this is actually a bad example. So we're gonna add in font size equals to, let's say 20 or 30. We're saving that. We're not actually using the blue element anywhere. So we're gonna put in another element in here. We're gonna say blue element. And we're gonna put in our container and put in a div to wrap this so that we could just demonstrate viewing both of these components since putting them back to back will not work. All right, change that to be actually blue. And so there you go. You could see that the blue element, which is extended off of the custom element has those styles in there. So it's gonna be maintaining the font size CSS property, but it's gonna be overriding the blue property. So that's an introduction to styled components and we'll be reviewing much more advanced properties of styled components soon. So we're also going to wanna to remove this logo. We're just gonna leave the rest of these as is for now. With that, we're going to go to our git. We're gonna say git status. If you don't have WebStorm, you could say git diff and that's just gonna show you exactly what you've modified. So you could see that we've deleted some styles here and we've added some custom elements in there. And there we go. So we're just gonna do a commit. We're gonna do git commit. Uh, also, if you're using WebStorm, you can do control K or command K, which I really like this view. So you can see a more detailed view of the files you've modified here. So you can see that we've added styled components and we've deleted the, the logo, okay. So let's commit that and let's just say add styled components. Add styled components, remove, remove unused styles. Okay, there we go.